Hi guys, this is Mike from All About a Friend and this will be a shootout between three different budget-friendly interfaces. My main recording interface is a RME Fireface UFX2, which will be guest starring in this video, but I wanted something light and portable for live recordings, field recordings, etc. etc. So it had to be budget-friendly, I wanted it to be USB powered so it can work without a power socket nearby, and I would have loved to have two headphone outs, but apparently in this price range there is no interface with two headphone outs. Okay, so before we listen to some samples, let's talk general stuff. Here are the boxes of these units. All of those units came with a quick start manual and an USB cable, and nothing else. One thing to notice is that the Mackie producer doesn't say Mackie nowhere on the box, not even in the small print. That I found strange. On the side it says this unit is produced by Loud Industries, which may or may not be the mother company of Mackie, I don't know. Okay, so some of those interfaces uh, come with additional apps or plugins for your DAW, but I didn't register the units and I didn't download anything. Except, of course, for the newest drivers. I downloaded the newest drivers from the home pages and installation was easy in all three instances. Reaper recognized all three drivers and control apps without any problems. The control programs, speaking of which, I would describe as very basic. You get a little more options on the Mackie and the Rubik's, for example setting different latency settings, but no options for routing, etc. etc. So all in all, these apps get the job done, but not much else. Okay, so let's talk about the quality of build. So when it comes to the chassis, I would say they are equal. They all feel very solid and sturdy. The knobs, however, are another story. As you can see here, the knobs of the Focusrite Scarlet and those of the Roland Rubik's are a little bit wobbly, while on the Mackie producer nothing is happening. The knobs feel very solid. So I would rank the interfaces in this category with the Mackie being the best, then the Scarlet and then the Rubik's, as this one feels the least trustworthy. Okay, let's talk about setting gain now. If you want to set gain without the help of your DAW, these devices help you with that. So ranked, the Scarlet is the best here, as it has these halo rings, they call it, that show you in three different colors if your signal is okay, if it's on the border of being too loud, or if it's really too loud. I really think these halo rings are a great visual clue and really make setting gain easy. Second place in this category goes to Roland. It only has two colors, green and red, but at least the lights are really nice and big. Third place here goes to the Mackie, which has two colors as well, but only very small lights. Now let's talk about direct monitoring. So if you want to hear yourself while you are recording, this is called direct monitoring. All three units support that, however they use different systems to do so. In my opinion, the system of the Mackie is the best. You have a knob on the front to set the mix levels of your incoming signal versus the playback from your DAW. Since these control apps or the drivers have no level meters for monitoring or your playback, this knob really comes in handy and it just works. On the Roland we have no such control. If you sing something to a song you recorded and the song is too loud and your voice is too quiet, you have to fiddle about with the headphones volumes and the volume of the playback in your DAW. This I find quite a workflow killer and to be honest it just goes on my nerves. The reason why the Roland is still in place number 2 is because it has a switch on its back to choose between no direct monitoring at all, direct monitoring in mono or in stereo. By the way, the Roland is the only interface here with direct monitoring in stereo. Both the Mackie and the Focusrite sum the two inputs to a mono signal. So for example, if you are recording vocals with one microphone and an acoustic guitar with another microphone, on the Scarlett and the Mackie you will hear both microphones set in the middle, right? On the Roland you have the possibility to hear them in stereo, so one mic is on the left side and one is on the right side. And for those reasons the Roland Rubik's, in my opinion, is my number two. The Focusrite Scarlett has no volume control and no stereo direct monitoring, so it gets the third place. And that was basically the general part, now let's listen to some samples. I recorded all the upcoming tracks with a TC Electronics Detail Looper, so that there are no differences in sound or uh, performance. 
all the tracks are raw, there is no compression, no EQ, no plugins, nothing. Right? Okay, enough talk. Please enjoy the samples and I'll see you after that when I give you my personal opinion on these interfaces.
Okay guys, welcome back. So, which one did you like best? In my opinion, there is really not that much of a difference between these three sound interfaces. Not when it comes to sound or when it comes to the features. The Mackie has the most sturdy build and has a monitoring knob on the front, while the Roland comes with the possibility to direct monitor in stereo. And the Focusrite offers great build and comes with a plug-in bundle that could come in handy when you start recording music and don't have a lot of plugins yet. I could recommend all three of them, however there is one thing I encountered on the Roland Rubix which I don't like. Listen closely to the upcoming loop and listen specifically to the high end. Leave me alone, 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 alone. In my opinion, there is something happening there, which is not happening on the other three devices. A slight boost of a certain high frequency. Listen to it again and listen to the singer's voice. The RME, the Scarlet and the Mackie sound very much alike, while on the Roland some frequencies boosted. Leave me alone, 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 alone. Did you hear it? Well, in my opinion, this either is a design fault, the famous Chinese highs maybe, or they made that to give the signal a fake freshness. Either way, I like my recording gear to be as neutral as possible. For this reason, and because it's the most expensive unit, I'm dropping the Roland, which leaves us with the Focusrite and the Mackie. Oh, and I almost forgot by the way, the Focusrite is the only interface in the shootout that doesn't have MIDI. All the other interfaces that you heard here have a MIDI input and a MIDI output, right? But other than that, both the Scarlet and the Mackie are great devices. But for me, I will go with the Mackie, simply because its knobs feel more trustworthy, it's cheaper than the Focusrite, it has MIDI in and out, plus this great mix knob on the front. I will be missing the halo rings and the plugins the Focusrite offers, but I gain so much more and even save some money. So, that was my conclusion, but what about you? Which interface did you like best? Leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you next time. Bye!